All right, what's up, guys? This is Spooky, and welcome back to Let's Play Faxanadu. Uh, anyway, in the previous part, uh, which is part one, we spoke to the King of Elves, who uh, gave us a little bit of the background on the area we are in, which is the World Tree. And uh, he also instructed us to go find uh, these three wells, which are the main water source for the elves slash the World Tree. Anyway, for us to make it further on and figure out why the wells are drying up, uh, we'll have to pass this way through the Tower of Trunk, which is essentially the first dungeon of the game. And uh, the Tower of Trunk uh, holds a very necessary item for us. So we're going to go pick it up. Anyway, uh, just to show you why we have to go through this tower, uh, if you do try to go further, like this right here, you'll see that there's this huge wall here in the way. It really stops us from proceeding. So we're gonna have to like it or not. We're gonna have to proceed further. And uh, this door takes one of the key jacks that we picked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one up. Alright, so here we are, the first dungeon of the game, essentially. And uh, normally, I would have to go through this entire dungeon and work my way to the top. But uh, there's actually a, a little known uh, technique in this game, and it involves a certain rooms, like this one here. Hopefully, I did this right. Where um, if you clear the room, uh, there's a chance, essentially, for an item to drop. And uh, the item dropping is really just based on how many times you enter the room. And there you go, we see we got it there. Anyway, this item is actually, normally I would have to go through all the way to the top of the dungeon to get this item. But it turns out that there's just one here. So we got the Matok. Uh, there's nothing else in this dungeon that we need. And there's nothing here that's really very important. Not even the enemies. Uh, we'll see the same enemies later on. So I'm just going to proceed further. Alright, so that was a quick one. Fastest dungeon ever. And now we're going to take our item, the Matok. And we're going to use it to open this up. Cool. So now we can continue on to the next town. Alright. Cool. And uh, before we get there, there are some more enemies we'll need to clear. The good part is we're going to get to upgrade this crappy dagger uh, very soon. Which is part of why I made such an effort to collect the extra money from the king. Quite necessary. The good news is, is in this early part of the game, there are a lot of enemies that drop health. So even if you're in trouble, you can really just farm a health enemy over and over. That item up there on the top left is the gauntlet, and it uh it increases your damage for an amount of time. But I'm not gonna waste time with it. We don't really need it right now. I hate these spellcaster mobs, but they do drop money. So might as well clear them out. Much easier to beat, of course, once you have the long sword, which we'll be getting in just a moment. Here's the next town. All right. First thing we're gonna do is go get this weapon upgrade. What would I like? I would like a longsword. Thank you, sir. We might try to get some armor in a bit, but now is now is not quite the time. So anyway, here it is, the longsword. Whoa, look at that. So much better. Let's see if we can get some health back. 150 gold, sure. That's basically a couple of enemies. Alright. So the next thing we want to do is, uh, of course, talk to some of the townspeople and figure out our next step. This is the town of Four Paul. We also want to talk to the Guru. And uh, multiple reasons for that. You do get your uh, mantra or your password, but also uh, sometimes you can get uh, rankings. I will meditate with you. Blah, blah, blah. Another crazy password. But the main point is that the last guru you speak to, whenever you die, that's where you end up. So if we die now, we'll be right back in this area. And there is a chance that we'll die. In fact, it's pretty unlikely that we'll beat the game without dying once or twice. 
All right, here we go. Water from three springs flows into the fountain. Find the three springs and return the water. Okay. So uh, there are essentially three places we can go. Uh, one of them is blocked off to us, and one of them we need an item wing boots for. So we're going to go essentially to the only area that we can go right now. So up here. Essentially, we're going to go find these fountains. Anyway, the longsword are so useful because it has much more range than the previous weapons we've had. <laughs> Look at that enemy stuck there. He's in the vortex for life. I hate these jumps, by the way. They can definitely get pretty tricky. Alright. So here we have to use up our last... Uh, Jack key, but it's for it's for a good purpose. Anyway, we are gonna find one of the uh, one of the fountains here that we need to clear out. I'm trying to really minimize the damage I take from these spellcast enemies. They are annoying though. Uh, you can also buy a shield. Uh, which helps a lot, but uh, well, I'll wait for the right time for that. You can see the longsword so much more useful already, just in clearing out these basic enemies. Oh, I fell. That sucks. Wasted some time there. Oh well, it happens. Just gonna save my magic actually, just clear it out that way. So one of the things you may notice is that as you walk further you kinda gain momentum. Mario style, and that helps with this style of jump. Much easier if you have momentum from uh running first. Ouch. Alright, so we're almost where we need to be. And the long sword already putting in uh, a lot of work here. Anyway, the three fountains, as we said, the first one is here, and if you remember, we bought that elixir uh, early on. That's for a reason. Alright, so up there's the guru. You can see that he's protecting uh, that first water source. We're almost there. The most important thing is I don't want to lose my elixir here because uh, this is the guy that I need it for. This elixir is going to revive the spring. Yes, I will. If I hadn't bought the elixir earlier, there is another elixir we can get here in the dungeon. But obviously, this is uh, much easier and quicker. Bam, so there you go. Alright, guys. So we were able to clear out the first... Uh, or get to the first spring of water, if you will. But when we come back in the next part of Let's Play Fact Sanity, we're going to find uh, springs number two and three. So make sure to check it out, guys. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're enjoying it so far. And we'll be back for more soon.